everyone. Welcome to another edition of Trotsky Robust. Um, don't even know the date, don't even care. Uh, it's two days after the Democratic debate. If you call it that, it was just a, a shit show, basically. Um, nothing was said, nothing, no one impressed. Um, and there's no one there to impress. Uh, the funny thing is about um, uh, they were talking about Trump and Trump and Trump and how terrible he is. And all the while, Joe Biden is standing there, you know. I mean, they must realize that as long as Joe Biden is there, they have zero credibility when talking about Trump. I mean, the, the way Washington works is just that. You find, you don't just make money for yourself, and Joe Biden has made a lot of money for himself, but you bring your family in, get everybody else in. Um, it, a few weeks ago, I don't know if you saw, it, Elijah Cummings died. They, I think they gave him a state funeral. Clinton was there. Bill Clinton was there. Obama was there. I thought they were going to canonize him, turn him into Saint Elijah, uh, you know. But uh, what's the truth about Elijah Cummings? His wife has a nonprofit and a profit as well. But <clears throat> like a nonprofit sounds innocuous enough, right? Well, how does a nonprofit work? Uh, first, who contributes to it? It's companies that do business, that not do business, but come before her husband's committee, right? So they have a very good reason why they want to contribute to this non-profit. And, um, and how it works is, uh, you know, sure, you can create a non-profit. You make yourself the CEO of that non-profit, give yourself a really nice salary, bring in your kids, bring in your uh, wife, kid, your brother, whoever you can, your whole family, and that's what happens with the money that in the, uh, in the, that goes to the nonprofit. I'm sure they have other ways that I don't know about that they found to get money out of that nonprofit. Um, they, I'm sure, whatever they have, probably have a few dollars left over. They'll do some events, you know, with poor people, and of course they'll bring the media in. And look what great, how great this nonprofit is! All right, bullshit. Uh, so that's how Washington works, and that's their problem with Trump is they don't care, like Trump is there just to make money. That's the only reason Trump is there. You know, he, he that's the only thing he cares about. He he had, his he failed in business, then he got into show business, where he did quite well. And politics is just an extension of show business, really. And um, what happened in Ukraine is Trump doesn't know how the game is played, right? Trump is like a little kid, and he poked a hornet's nest. And that's because he talked about Joe Biden's kid. I mean, hey, that... They don't want people to know how they operate, you know. That's why they're attacking Trump. That's what you're saying every day when you're watching these idiotic impeachment um, hearings. The, the impeachment hearings, impeachment's not going to happen. They have to go through the Senate. And do they, do they not know this? Of course they do. But they just want to send a message, don't mess with our money. Don't mess with our money. Go ahead and make your own money, but don't mess with us. That's how fucking corrupt the system is. And... Um, you know, in a way, I'm glad Trump's there. I'm glad he doesn't know how, how it works. I mean, you know, he's the crook, but, you know, how did Trump get there? Would Trump ever have been elected president in a healthy democracy? No. It's just that the system is, it's not a swamp. It's not trying to drain a swamp. It's a, you know, it's a, it's an ocean of sewage is what it is. And, uh, well, that's how it is. And you look at the others, like uh, Obama. Obama has $100 million already. Do you think Obama would have $100 million if instead of passing that stupid ACH that, got, uh, you know, that leaves 30 million people uninsured, does nothing to control cost, instead if he, if he would have done Medicare for all, would he have the $100 million? If he would have, instead of increasing the number of wars we were in, he decreased it, instead of uh, bailing out the banks, bailed out the homeowners, instead of bailing out GM, nationalized GM so that they couldn't move their plants overseas, would he be worth $100 million today? Please. Bill Clinton's $150 million. Why not? NAFTA, repeal Glass-Siegel, the crime bill. That's how they pay them. That's how they pay them. Obama's getting paid now for services rendered and to show future presidents, hey, if you play ball, we're going to make it worth your while. And that's what he did. He played ball. He worked against us, not for us. Um, <clears throat> and also, what's her name? Um, Amy Klobuchar was saying, Nancy Pelosi is kicking Donald Trump butt every day in Congress. No, Nancy Pelosi and Donald Trump are kicking our butts every day. 
all right and of course mr burnout himself oh boy and he's oh my god i if ever you doubted that bernie's one of them you know every time he keeps saying joe biden's a friend of mine so and so's a friend of mine you know that just you know it was exposed during the debate one honest thing joe biden said during the debate he says democrats in congress are not going to vote for the uh, medicare for all of course not they're too corrupt right and so bernie well, how's he going to pass it when all these friends of his are not going to pass his bill okay he says oh we're going to need a revolution really you didn't have a chance to make a revolution in 2016 instead of or endorsing hillary you could have started a new party you did have a chance for that revolution? Okay. Oh, my God. What a fucking waste of time Bernie is. And, of course, he pandered to the fake far left with Gaza. Let's give money to Gaza. Give money to an organization that hangs gay people, that um, uh, that on, uh, that is okay with honor killings, and not, not even getting into the amount of money that they've embezzled, you know, uh, Hamas, there's two guys in Hamas who've embezzled like two and a half billion each. And that's just two guys. Who knows how much the entire organization. Hey, let's give them taxpayer money. Now, he didn't say cut uh, money for Israel, which I'm for. You know, I'm, I was born in Israel. You know, I lived in Israel. I'm an Israeli citizen. I was in the Israeli army. I never told you that, did I? And now I was in Gaza. But no, we shouldn't give money to military to Israel or to anybody else. And by the way, you always hear these ass, these anti-Semites, sorry, anti-Zionists online saying, "Oh, that aid supports us." No, it doesn't. That aid stays here. It's it's corporate welfare to the military-industrial complex. Ninety over ninety-nine percent of the aid comes is for military, and it just stays right here in the United States. Uh, and I guarantee you it's not going to sink as well as much as these anti-Semites might want it to. Um, that's about it. It's just a. a total shit show as, a, as I was saying earlier and um, you know for all I care I hope Trump does get reelected you know he's not gonna be, <laughs> he's not gonna be any worse than those guys and to have Bernie become president to do nothing because the Democrats will stop him every every chance they get um, you know wh where will our democracy be after that you know um, I don't know I don't know I don't know where we're going it's it's what's going to happen is another recession will hit and then then people can go to the streets or maybe not maybe they'll just have full employment give people shitty jobs so they they don't have time to go to the streets and just uh, you know we'll become a, a third world party for a third world country we're going to get in there really quickly so and these bows these clowns have no intentions of fixing that uh, anyhow tell me what you think give me a thumbs up thumbs down um tell me if you know of a solution you know do you know of a political party that you know we can g get behind that c can change things it's not the democrats not the greens all right all right take it easy have a good weekend and trotsky's out